Hi everyone, Anne here from Anne Makes. Thanks so much for dropping in. Welcome into my studio. For those of you who are new here, please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. And don't forget, if you hit that bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Of course, my focus is always on the crafty and creative stuff that we can find at a Dollar Tree and such and I was a little disappointed when I went uh, because there really wasn't anything new. I was hoping to find a few new things that I've seen other people haul but nope they're not there yet. So I did want to get a whole bunch more of the sponge daubers that I showed in a previous haul that I did at Dollar Tree, but this was the last package. Can you believe it? I think some people are watching my videos and then raiding my store because everything else I mentioned in the last video, the Forever in Time products, the sponge daubers, the bottles, the rollers, uh, they were pretty, the store was pretty bare. They barely had any of those items left. So, <laughs> lesson learned either i buy out the store or i don't share on here uh, what's going on at my dollar tree I'm kidding of course i'll share so i got the last package of that i did pick up this sign to put here this girl can they have some that say girl boss and they, they a few others but this is the one i got because of the color and this girl can yes because there's not much i can't do so i put i got that for myself and I picked up some more of these pens. I love writing with these pens. I love that they're pink on the outside. They're, they are black ink, but uh, the fact that they're pink and they were for breast cancer awareness. So I really like these pens. So I got two packages because there was some new packages at my store. I wanted to get some very inexpensive little photo albums mostly for the pockets inside because I uh, was using some of these for storage of some metal uh, brass stencils that I have and yeah so I picked up a few of these little albums very cheap so there are this is for four by six and I think you can put about, let me see, uh, this will hold 24 4x6 pictures, but I will not be using it to hold pictures, of course. This is going to be used for organizing in my studio. I wanted some more of the uh, confetti that I bought the sequins, the cup sequins that I bought last week. And they did have this color, this blend of colors this week. Again, the three bags. So I did pick those up because I was hoping that they would get that color. So at least that is new at my Dollar Tree, but I don't think it's a new item per se, because last week I was telling you about these ones, that these ones are brand new. So I got another package of these because I love the colors and I don't have that many of these colors in my stash and I got another one of these so they're slightly different these ones have more red in them so I got that this I don't know if this is new but I never really noticed this is a crafters square uh, product and it is a green briar import if I'm not mistaken yeah uh, crafter square green briar just some little star gems they have hearts, uh, they have regular gems and, and such, but I thought the little stars were really cute. So I got some of those. And I picked up a few more of the circular canvas boards, artist canvas. These are eight inches in diameter. And I've been having fun doing paint pouring on some of these that I already have. So I just got some more. I also wanted a roll of the paper tape that is some people refer to this as uh, medical tape as well and I use this when I need to 
uh, tape a stencil down temporarily or to tape paper to paper temporarily. It removes very easily without leaving any residue. Also uh, does not tear the paper when I remove it, but after I'm done with the process of stenciling or painting or tracing or whatever that I'm doing. So I just like using this a lot in my studio. And um, I did get some more of the crunchy toppers, the dill pickles. I tried these after I bought them last time and I love them. So I got some more. And last but not least, uh, no, two more items. Not a crafty item, but super cute. Uh, the pineapple lip gloss with the shade. <laughs> so yeah, I got this little pineapple lip gloss in pineapple oh pineapple scented lip gloss too so i don't even know if there's other scents i just grabbed this i just grabbed one and it happens to be this so i have no idea if there are other flavors but i, I just got it because it's a pineapple it's really cute and uh new uh at my dollar tree were folding reading glasses and I just thought, well, these are really practical to throw in my craft bag or anything. And I have to leave glasses lying all over the place because I'm always needing a pair of glasses. And these are kind of, I just thought they were really funky because they're foldable. So, you know, these are easy to stash. And one of my many, you know, craft bags, knitting bags, my purses, whatever. They're not the highest quality, of course. They are just plastic. But hey, they do the job. So, and they fold up like this, and like this, and like this, and this. So, this is what they look like. They're a pair of glasses, like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought these are fun for us crafters who need reading glasses every once in a while. And they just fold up nice, nice little package, and yeah, so. And I did get some more of the Canada towels because I really like them. And knew they had the oven mitts. Of course, they only have the right one. I did buy two, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I couldn't resist. I had to get the Canada themed oven mitts as well as more towels. And l this is really the last item I have to share with you, a little scarf. And I wasn't sure if I didn't already have something very similar to this in my uh, collection of scarves. But I thought, eh, what the hey. If I do, I'll just gift it to someone. But I thought the colors were very pretty and will go very well when I wear lots like blues and, and such. So... That is that for Dollar Tree this week. Short and sweet, I know, but that's all there was. And uh, I hope I still inspired you with something crafty in my Dollar Tree haul today. And please like, please comment, please share. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay crafty, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.